Good mythical afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Ayala for another world history vlog for your enjoyment or education. Anyway, uh, this is the second half of the Crusades uh, information. We started the first half or the large version in class. Uh, this is the second half, uh, which we're going to talk about the Reconquista and also about the Spanish Inquisition. So that's the shirt. As always, please make sure that you have a map out, um, your notes, and... That, and that's probably about it for this one. Uh, please make sure, as always, that you're listening for the DB, the question that you're going to put in the doobly-doo, whatever it is this year, uh, to be able to understand what's going on. So, when we left off, we were talking about how the Crusades were a way to get rid of the Muslims in the Holy Land. We talked about how it's both a political, social, and economic issue. And from there, we went into the idea of the Reconquista. So in about the 700s, we know that the Muslim Moors controlled much of present-day Spain, which is what we have here, which is the second half of the 9th century uh, with Spain. And what happens is they decide that they want to push the, mu the Muslims out. So what happens in 1085, the Christians capture Toledo. In 1140, Christian Portugal, which is right over here, is established. So Portugal actually ends up becoming a nation before Spain. So from there, on the 1300s, the Christians uh, control most of the Iberian Peninsula, except for Grenada, which is right here on the very bottom. Uh, so all of this area is invaded and taken over by the Christians, and they push the Muslims off of the Iberian Peninsula. In 1469, we got Ferdinand of Aragon and Isabella Castile, these two major areas, marry. And they begin to fight the, re the rest of the Reconquista. And they begin to fight the Moors in Grenada. By 1492, the same year that Christopher Columbus sails the ocean blue, Grenada falls and the Reconquista complete is completed. But what happens is Isabella still wants to get rid of all non-Christians in the land. Even though they now control the land itself politically, they don't own it socially. So they so, so what she ends up, she gets rid of the uh, religious tolerance that the Muslims put in place underneath the Moors and instead starts what is known as the Spanish Inquisition. So what they did is all the thousands upon thousands of Jews and Muslims are, first, are forced to convert to Christianity. And if they're not, they are tortured and killed. And that's a major issue. This Spanish Inquisition actually, uh, the Inquisition itself spreads throughout Europe, but it's really centered in Spain itself. And about 150,000 non-Christians flee from Spain. Some go to North Africa, if they're Muslims, a lot of the Jews go to where Poland is located in Eastern Europe. And that is all. This is a really short one. So what I want to tell you, so at the end of this vlog, uh, i got a surprise for you. Don't worry about the, about the doobly-doo, because why not? Make sure you have your notes. We'll talk about this in class. And as always, don't forget to be awesome.